Hello guys, I I hope everybody is doing good and everybody is preparing properly for the FRM exam for the May 2023 attempt. Now, in this short video, I'm just going to talk about how should you plan for your mock papers. And this uh, rule is, uh, this logic is also applicable for the November and the August exam also. So ideally, uh, uh, the solving of mock papers, a lot of people are confused when I should start, how many mock papers should I do it? So from that perspective, I'm going to talk about in this session. So ideally, and I've taken an assumption that uh, if suppose you're giving the exam on 15th of May, okay, then, and I've taken this example as a hypothetical situation. So ideally, two or three days before that exam date, you should not solve any question bank. That means you should stop solving the mock papers. You should only do the revision of your uh, Swedger book. And I, I would recommend the entire reading of the Swedger book. So that is... That should stop by say 12th of May, roughly. And from that day, you should go back 10 days, okay, to start solving their mock papers. 10 days if you are having four mock papers to solve. So ideally, you should start your mock paper solving by 2nd of May 2023, okay, to go for the May 2023 exam. So 10 days preparation. And how many mock papers should we go ahead and solve? So ideally, I would recommend four mock papers. These are minimum that you should. Uh, try to approach if you have sufficient amount of time for the exam. So one of them is definitely going to be your GARP sample paper 2023. Apart from that, there are three other institute, uh, three other papers that you can apply for. For example, these are your uh, institutes which are available outside who are helping students to prepare. For example, my institute also provides such mock papers. So these papers will help you to prepare for the exam. So ideally, you should have three such mock papers. If you do not have the access to those mock papers, you can take the Swager practice book which are generally given with the books that you're of that you're reading with so swager practice papers should help you to prepare uh, should add on to these mock papers generally institutes provide three uh, private institutes provide three mock papers if they're giving you more than three they can then you can start out slightly early and complete all of them if you have time okay so that is the broader idea so minimum to minimum four mock papers you should be solving for the exam now, how should you plan? Okay, so suppose you're starting on 2nd of May or the 15th of May exam. Second and third, do full revision of the book. Okay, all the four books for your FRM level one preparation. Okay, book one, book two, book three, book four. And then uh, do the exam or first mock on 4th of May. Uh, you'll give the, uh, try to give the exam on the same time where you are giving the actual exam. So, for example, if you're on 15th of May, you have been you have selected the exam slot as 2 p.m. Then, when you're giving the mock papers, give the exam on at 2 p.m. itself. Then, do the analysis. Look at what all wrongs wrong you have done. Whatever uh, calculated guess you have taken, go to the book, read those contact again, and complete your analysis by 4th of May. Then, 5th and 6th again, do your full revision. Uh, focus on your weak areas. Whatever problems you have identified in your uh, first mock, make sure that those uh, areas are getting better. Okay, read those areas again and do one more quick revision of the other uh, areas or the other overall four books for the exam. So five and six, revision and focusing on the weak areas. Seventh, give the mock exam. Again, give the mock exam on the same time as your actual exam. Do the analysis. While doing the analysis, make sure that you are looking at whatever wrongs that has happened and connect it back to your first mock. In the sense, try to see if there was any concept which I made a mistake in my first mock is the same concept getting repeated in the mock two and I am making a similar mistake or the overall concept is again still a problem for me. So you should, you should be able to identify those things. What is the trend in your solving? Don't just look at the score. A lot of people, they only look at, okay, out of 100, I'm getting 56 or 60. That will not help. Make sure that whatever mistakes you're doing, that mistake should not get repeated. Okay. So that is where you will give the second mock. Then eighth and nine, again, do your full-fledged revision. Focus on the weak areas. And then 10th, you should be giving your third mock papers. Okay. Now over here, I would suggest you to go for GARP sample paper. Okay. First two mock papers were just practice for you. The third uh, mock paper is the treated as an actual exam and give it as a GARP sample paper and give your best shot, prepare properly and analyze your mistakes also. And whenever you're looking at GARP sample paper, make sure that those 80 concepts you're 
revising again in front of the book after the mock papers are completed, after the sample paper is completed. Then 11th, you can do one more quick revision. Okay, now I'm giving only one day for you to do the fourth mock because you've already seen the content three times. So the last revision can be very fast, focusing only on weak areas or things which you felt formula looking and all of those things. So those things can be done and then you can go for the final mock paper on the 12th of the exam. And 12th uh, May, you should give your fourth mock paper and then finally your 13th foot and 14th over here, you should look at all the formulas, all the questions which are there in the Swager book. Read the Swager book entirely, word to word. I would suggest read it properly, read every paragraph, make yourself comfortable with the content again, and then finally appear for the exam. So overall, I'm just summarizing four mock papers. Roughly 10 days are needed to go and prepare and solve the mock papers, do the analysis, do the revision of the week papers and two days before the exam stop solving more papers and only read the switcher that is what my suggestion would be so i hope uh, everybody is preparing properly for the exam and if there is any help needed in terms of your exam preparation i would be happy to help you for the same so thank you very much for joining in